New Vegas is appearing in season two of the Fallout show, and that is more than likely gonna get a lot of people wanting to play the game. And the best way to do this is definitely with the Viva New Vegas mod pack. Atala 2 Wastelands is a fantastic mod, but it's really set up to play Fallout 3 and New Vegas as one great big super game. And everything has been set up and balanced to play both in one. So if you wanna play New Vegas on its own in the way that you remember it, a Tele 2 Wastelands really isn't the way to go. In that situation, Viva New Vegas is definitely the one. I've already made a guide for TTW and I'll put a link for that in the description below. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the entire installation process for the Viva New Vegas mod pack with the assistance of Wabberjack, which is an auto mod loader helping us to install everything in a much quicker time. In the description below, you'll find chapters for each individual step and links for everything that you're gonna need, including the written guide, which you absolutely wanna bring up now and use at the same time as install everything. So let's just get into it. If you've already got New Vegas installed, you need to uninstall it first and get rid of any mods because you need to start from scratch. So go ahead and uninstall the game. But after you've done that, you also need to manually delete out some residual files. And these are going to be in your documents. Then go into my games and inside there, you should see a Fallout NV folder which you need to delete. Now, before we go any further, there's two things we need to sanity check. And the first is the VC++ redists. Even if you think yours are up to date, it's definitely worth downloading the all-in-one just to make sure. So download it with this link here and then get it from Tech Powered Up. Once you've got it, you want to unzip it like I've already done. And with the install bat inside, you want to right click on it and run it as administrator. Then wait for it to do its thing. The second thing we're going to sanity check is base address randomization. This needs to be off and it generally is by default, but we're still going to check it. So open up Windows Security, then go into App and Browser Control. And we're going to go into the exploit protection settings. And it's this forced randomization for images that needs to be off. So just make sure that it is. When it comes to actually getting New Vegas, the best way to do this is with the Ultimate Edition because it comes with all of the DLCs that are mandatory for the mod and you need to make sure this is the English version. Now even though this says it's compatible with the Epic Game Store version, unfortunately the Wabberjack pack doesn't work with it. So it's Steam or GOG only. Before you install New Vegas, you need to set up a custom folder to install it into because if you use any of the default Windows ones, it's not going to work properly. If you don't already have a custom folder set up, the best place to put this is on the root of whichever SSD you're installing to, which for most of us is going to be the C drive. So right click, come down and create a new folder. And you can call this whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it games. And I suggest you do the same if you're following step by step. When installing the GOG versions, whether that be for the storefront or the offline installer, it is really easy to select this custom folder as the install location. Then you just go through the process as normal, making sure to say yes to all the redist stuff. So with the GOG versions, it is really easy to install with a custom location. But with Steam, it's not so straightforward. Because of the restrictive way Steam handles its default folders, it means we've got to use a third party utility called the Steam Library Setup Tool to actually get Steam to install games into that custom location. So download it with this link here or with the link in the description. Now, before you start this, you wanna make sure that Steam is completely closed down and not running in the background. So double check your system tray and do your task manager to make sure that is the case. And once you confirmed it, just double click on the executable to run it. And if you get this, just go to more info and hit run anyway. So you wanna hit add row on the right hand side and then click on browse. Then just go ahead and select the custom games folder that you've just created. Now press accept on the left, make sure that you say yes to this and then hit okay to close it down. Now you wanna start Steam and actually get New Vegas. And yes, I know this isn't New Vegas, but I need to demonstrate it with a game because I don't have the Steam version. So when you hit install, because you've got that additional folder path, you've got two different options. But as you can see, it only gives us the drive letter, which isn't very informative. So just know the one with the star next to it is the program files folder. In other words, the one you don't want to install into. So as long as you're selecting the other one, you can't miss. Now you can just go ahead and install and follow the process as normal. After installation, you need to generate a fresh set of any files, which you do by simply launching the game via storefront. But if you're using an offline version, you need to use the falloutlauncher.exe. When this boots up, all you need to do is press OK to both of these pop-ups. And by simply doing that, we've generated the any files. So now you can just exit out. From this point, it's all Wabberjack stuff, so make sure that you go to that part of the guide. Before you download Wabberjack, you want to create its own folder, as it's definitely best to keep it isolated. So again, on your C drive or your SSD, just right click and create a new folder, and you want to call this Wabberjack. 
Now you can go ahead and download it and it's just a simple executable and you want to put that Wabberjack EXE inside the Wabberjack folder that you've just created. Once it's there, go ahead and run it and wait for it to install. The first thing you need to do with Wabberjack is go into settings and log into your Nexus Mods account. And yes, you absolutely need to do this. So if you don't have an account, go ahead and sign up for one and then log in. Once you're logged in, you want to come up to Browse Lists. Wait a couple of seconds for everything to load up and Viva New Vegas should be the first mod. But if it's not there, you can just search for it with the search bar. But of course, once you do find it, go ahead and select it. So it needs to be mentioned now that essentially we need to manually press OK to a whole bunch of downloads. And the entire process takes about 20 minutes to half hour. But if you're feeling lazy, you can get yourself a premium Nexus Mods account, log out of Wabberjack and then log back in. Because doing that will let you download all of these mods in one click, skipping the entire manual download process. But personally, I don't tend to pay for such things, especially if the only thing I've got to do is just click a mouse. But if you are going the premium route, do it now because this is the point of no return. So when you're ready, hit download and install in the bottom left hand corner. Now with the install and download paths, you want to leave them as they are. Just make sure they're on the same drive as the game install. And definitely take a mental note of the install path because that VMV folder is the main mods folder that we're going to be using. Now you can just hit install in the bottom right hand corner. Now at this point, Wabberjack is going to present you with the download page for each individual mod. So you can just scroll down and hit slow download. Wait those five seconds and once it's downloaded, Wabberjack will automatically load up the next one for you. So you can just scroll down again and hit slow download. And essentially you're going to be rinsing and repeating this until the job is done. Now don't worry if you end up skipping or missing one of these for whatever reason, just keep on going. And if you have a catastrophic failure and you need to restart Wabberjack, again don't worry because it's not going to make you re-download all the ones you've already downloaded, essentially saving your progress. So if that happens, just restart the process. Now after all of that, if you've missed any, it will tell you that the download has failed. But all you need to do is hit retry in the bottom right hand corner. And it will take you through the download process again, but only with the ones that you've missed. And once you've downloaded all of these mods, it will automatically start to extract them. When it's finished installing, it will tell you at the top. Now you want to close this down as we need to sort out some post install steps. So we need to add an exclusion for the mods folder in Windows Security. So bring that up and then go into Virus and Threat Protection. Then we're going to go into Manage Settings under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and go into Add or Remove Exclusions. Press Add Exclusion and add a folder. Now you need to select the VMV Mods folder, which is going to be on the root of your C drive or whichever SSD you're using. But it's going to be inside of another folder called Mod Lists. So go into that one, then select the VMV folder. With the root mods, it's just a quick copy and paste job. So go back into the VMV mods folder and then go into files requiring manual install. Then select and copy everything in here. You want to paste this into the root of the game install. So go back into that custom games folder. And if you're on GOG, you should just see the New Vegas folder right here. But if you're on Steam, it's going to look like this. In which case, you need to go into Steam Apps common and there you'll find the new vegas folder in any case you want to go into the new vegas folder where all the game files are and paste in what we've just copied whilst we're still in the game files we need to apply the fmv patch so find the executable for it and just run it it should bring up a command prompt window telling you that it's been patched then you can just press any key to get rid of it now we need to run the BSA decompressor. So go back into the VMV folder and then go into the decompressor folder. Then you want to run the BSA decompressor exe. Both of these folder paths should be pre-populated and yours could look different to mine. But as long as they're pre-populated, you should be good to go. So now you can just hit decompress and wait for it to do its thing. Once that's finished, you want to go back into the mods folder, then find and run the mod organizer. So we can take care of the last steps. You want to say yes to the first pop-up, no to the tutorial, and yes to the last pop-up. Before we get into the mod organizer stuff, you need to set the graphics to ultra and set your resolution. So make sure that Fallout Launcher is set in the drop-down list here, and then hit run. Then go into options and hit ultra. And don't forget to also set your screen resolution here. And even though we set this to ultra, we can still bump up the anti-aliasing from four samples to eight samples. And if you're on low end hardware, you can use medium settings instead. But when you're done, just press okay and exit out. So effectively, there are two versions of this mod list and you can switch between the two with profile in the top left hand corner. As you can see, we've just got the normal New Vegas one and below it, we've got the enhanced version. And the obvious question is, 
what is the difference? With the standard version, it's more of a Vanilla Plus experience because it's just taking what's already there and updating and enhancing it without taking too many creative or artistic liberties, leaving the game as you remember it mostly intact. But if you're not a purist like that, you can use the enhanced version, which adds a bunch of really cool mods. Things like additional graphics improvements, an updated looting system that I find invaluable, even more customization, gameplay improvements, and more notably, the Living Wasteland mod which at its core is adding a whole bunch of additional content into the game. More NPCs, quests, stuff, and things to do. And if you're a New Vegas vet, this may be appealing because it's a different way to play the same game. But of course, these kinds of mods do stray from what Obsidian originally made, which is why they have their own extended section. So if you're a purist or not, you've got the choice. But the nice thing is you can just switch between these, giving you no reason not to try both. Now my stupid unsteady hand keeps on pressing mod name at the top. Problem is when you do this, it separates out all the mods and changes the order. And this is the incorrect view. So just note that the correct order and view for this mod list is via priority. So if you end up doing the same thing, just click on priority at the top and it will fix it. When it comes to actually launching a game with all of these mods, you need to make sure that New Vegas is selected in this dropdown list and then you want to go ahead and make yourself a shortcut because this will save you having to start up the mod organizer every single time you want to play this game with mods so definitely create yourself one of these now essentially that is the end of the modding process but before you start the game you now need to restart your pc you've just installed a whole bunch of stuff that more than likely needs a restart to be able to run correctly but before you go i am just going to finish up the video so after you've restarted your machine make sure that new vegas is selected and hit run when this is loading, a mod called the ML Utilities Checker is making sure that all utilities are installed correctly. And hopefully you should get this message saying that's the case. Just remember the next time you load up Mod Organizer to go into Utilities and turn off ML Utilities Checker because after the first boot and confirmation, there's no real point in using it unless you're messing around with utilities. So now you're truly ready to play New Vegas in the best way possible. And hopefully with the Wabajat pack and this guide, you're gonna have no issues. But if you are, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. But if you actually got this installed using this guide, slam the video a thumbs up. And if you wanna keep up to date with the channel, you know what to do. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.